step back to the gritty streets of 1972 San Francisco with a classic TV series that kept viewers hooked with its raw portrayal of crime and investigation. Starring a dynamic duo, veteran detective Mike Stone, played by Carl Malden, and his young partner, Steve Keller, portrayed by a fresh-faced Michael Douglas, the show takes you on a roller coaster of cases that range from funny to shocking to downright sad. Wondering which classic Hollywood actor stole the spotlight for you in this crime-solving saga? Share your thoughts in the comments below, or reminisce about the first time you tuned in to witness the unraveling mysteries of the city by the bay. As you delve into the episodes, keep an eye out for those surprising moments that will leave you shaking your head or sitting on the edge of your seat. And here's the hook. There are plenty of funny, shocking, and downright heartbreaking facts waiting to be discovered. So don't touch that dial just yet. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience with this TV gem? We'd love to hear your stories and reflections in the comments below. So grab your detective hat and share your thoughts on the streets of San Francisco a series that continues to resonate with fans, one case at a time. The Streets of San Francisco, the 1972 TV series, remains a timeless example of crime and investigation on screen. Carl Malden plays the seasoned detective Mike Stone, with Michael Douglas bringing youthful energy as his partner, Steve Keller. Together, they take audiences through the gritty streets of 1972 San Francisco. What sets this series apart is its ability to seamlessly blend humor, shock, and heartbreak within each case they tackle. The mysteries keep viewers on the edge of their seats, and as you go through the episodes, you can't help but be struck by surprising moments that range from head-shaking to downright heartbreaking. It's this varied approach that has left a lasting impression on fans. Decades later, the show remains relevant, not just as a snapshot of crime solving in the 70s, but as a narrative that delves into the human condition. The characters' complexities and the well-crafted plots continue to connect with audiences, making it a series that goes beyond its original era. The show's significance is not just about solving crimes, but also about exploring human behavior and relationships. The impact of the streets of San Francisco extends beyond its initial run, influencing subsequent crime dramas and securing its place in television history. The performances of Malden and Douglas, set against the backdrop of San Francisco, contribute to the lasting allure of the series. In a world where entertainment constantly evolves, the streets of San Francisco stands as proof of the timeless appeal of well-crafted storytelling and compelling characters. It invites viewers to immerse themselves in a captivating narrative that transcends the boundaries of time, resonating with new audiences as it did with those who first tuned in back in 1972. The show's significance, influence, and continued relevance today stem from its ability to navigate the complexities of crime, human nature, and relationships with narrative finesse that goes beyond its original air date. It's a series that continues to connect with fans one case at a time. In the portrayal of the San Francisco Police Department's radio cars, the streets of San Francisco maintained a semblance of authenticity. Notably, the studio's black and white marked SFPD radio cars closely resembled the real deal, with a minor exception. Early in the series, the studio cars featured either twin two-lamp revolving roof-mounted red lights or two roof-mounted forward steady burning red lights on opposite sides of the center four-lamp revolving red light. This deviated from the genuine SFPD cars, which sported one forward steady burning red light and one rear-facing flashing amber light on opposite sides of the center four-lamp revolving red light. Within the San Francisco Police Department, the term inspector carried a distinctive meaning. Unlike other police departments, where an inspector denotes a higher rank here, an inspector is simply a detective rank. This distinction sheds light on the unique hierarchy within the SFPD and adds a layer of nuance to the characters' roles in the series. Throughout its five-season run, one consistent element was Carl Malden's presence. Notably, he was the sole actor to grace every episode, embodying the character of Mike Stone with unwavering consistency. Malden's enduring commitment to the role contributed significantly to the series' stability and offered viewers a familiar anchor amid the evolving narrative. These behind-the-scenes details, from the nuances of police car aesthetics to the unique rank designations, provide a glimpse into the meticulous world-building of the streets of San Francisco. As the series unfolds on screen, it's these subtleties that contribute to the overall immersive experience, making it a standout in the crime and investigation genre. 
Quinn Martin made a smart decision by choosing Carl Malden and Michael Douglas for the crime drama series The Streets of San Francisco. The interesting backstory reveals that to get Malden on board, Martin used connections involving Michael Douglas' father, Kirk Douglas, to bring in the younger Douglas as Inspector Steve Keller. It's worth noting that Michael Douglas' role in the series was paid tribute in Avengers Endgame. The portrayal of young Hank Pym in the film closely resembled Douglas' appearance in the streets of San Francisco, capturing even the small details like his run down a hallway. This highlights the lasting influence of the TV series on popular culture. The show was filmed in San Francisco, California, giving it an authentic feel. Produced by Quinn Martin Productions, the studio made an effort to realistically depict SFPD radio cars with minor deviations from reality. This commitment aimed to capture the essence of the police department's vehicles. In the series, the term inspector had a specific meaning, representing a detective rank rather than a higher position seen in other police departments. This added depth to the characters' roles and provided a glimpse into the unique hierarchy within the San Francisco Police Department. Carl Malden's dedicated portrayal of Mike Stone remained consistent throughout the show's five-season run. As the only actor in every episode, Malden's presence became a reliable anchor in the evolving narrative, contributing significantly to the series' stability. In summary, The Streets of San Francisco not only delivered engaging crime stories, but also incorporated interesting behind-the-scenes details, enriching the viewer's experience. The show's influence on subsequent cultural references and its lasting appeal testify to its timeless storytelling and characters going beyond its initial debut in 1972. Carl Malden and Michael Douglas's dedication to authenticity in portraying their detective roles in the streets of San Francisco left a lasting impression on real SFPD detectives. Described as very fine fellows, both actors spent time with the police force, earning respect and camaraderie from those who knew the gritty reality of the city's streets. The series initially struggled to find its audience, debuting in a challenging time slot against popular comedies. However, a strategic move to Thursday nights in 1973 proved to be a game-changer, propelling it to higher ratings and audience share. Over the next three years, it flourished, securing spots in the top 30 rankings. Unfortunately, a misstep in scheduling for the 1976-77 season led to a decline in viewership, compounded by rising production costs and contractual obligations ultimately leading to its cancellation. The connection between Carl Malden and Michael Douglas went beyond the small screen. Malden, a longtime friend of Douglas's father, Kirk Douglas, added a personal dimension to their on-screen partnership. This off-screen camaraderie likely contributed to the chemistry witnessed on the gritty streets of San Francisco. In the portrayal of SFPD radio cars, the series aimed for authenticity, closely resembling the real vehicles with a minor exception. The term inspector in the San Francisco Police Department took on a unique meaning, denoting a detective rank rather than a higher position seen in other departments, offering a nuanced perspective on their roles. Throughout its five-season run, Malden's unwavering presence in every episode provided viewers with a reliable anchor. His commitment to the role of Mike Stone contributed significantly to the series' stability amid an evolving narrative. These behind-the-scenes details, from police car aesthetics to the unique rank designations, showcase the meticulous world-building that made it stand out in the crime and investigation genre. Quinn Martin's smart casting decision involving Michael Douglas through connections with Kirk Douglas and authentic filming in San Francisco contributed to the show's genuine feel. The series left a lasting mark on popular culture, with a subtle nod in Avengers Endgame acknowledging Douglas's role. In essence, it not only delivered engaging crime stories, but also added depth through behind-the-scenes details, ensuring its influence.